Come on, come in. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are off on an adventure. We're saying goodbye to reality, goodbye to civilization. We're gonna head out for some remote therapy at our fishing cabin. And uh, we're about, I'd say, maybe a quarter of the way to the cabin. We're gonna take a little break and let the dogs go to the bathroom, run around. The trail looks awesome. It's about 27 degrees today, nice and warm. It's just perfect. I haven't even had to have gloves on. It's just been amazing weather so far. So we're really excited. It's been a year since we came out to the remote cabin on the snow machines and uh, I'm excited. I. I can't decide which one's my favorite, the summer on the boat or the winter time on the snow machines. Like probably the snow machines, just because it's a lot of fun riding the machines and uh, you know, it just, it just makes it more of an adventure. We're riding on a massive frozen river. This whole thing is completely frozen. So every once in a while we'll pass little pockets of uh, water. It is a little eerie when you remember that you're on top of a frozen river. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. We thought we would take you guys with us. We have been, you know, knee deep in projects on the homestead. And I told Joe, you know what? I just wanna go and relax. And the most relaxing time that I have is when we're out at the remote cabin. Hey, Diddy. You excited? Yeah. I'm so excited. Wow, what a ride. It was just a beautiful day. It was just perfect for the ride. Joe made it up the hill just fine with the dog sled. So he's gonna come back down. The The tricky part's gonna be trying to get the supply sled up there because it's much heavier. And you guys might remember from our trip last year, we got the snow machine stuck and it was a doozy. Joe had to, had to we had to dig it out. And, um, but he's heading back down now. So I'm excited, we're here.
everything looks so different in the winter time. I love to see the different seasons and how everything changes out here, the landscape. Joe came out yesterday by himself just to make sure that the river was good. He dug some trails for us to the outhouse and to the well. So he did a little work before we got here today. The rivers were good. There was definitely some areas with overflow. That's always kind of creepy. Anytime you see water of any sort, it's just creepy, but it was a beautiful ride. The river was perfect. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of breath. Well, dad was going to give you a ride. You wanted to walk, huh? Yeah, I just want to get my thigh muscles bigger. Oh, get your thigh muscles bigger. That'll do it. That'll do it. Look at the beautiful cabin in the sunshine. It's so pretty. Well, he made it. I'm not sure if the eggs made it, but Joe made it. <laughs> Might just have to have scrambled eggs this weekend, Joe. <laughs> Are you hot, Gunner? chilly in here. I'd say it's colder in here than it is out there. Oh, it's just how I remember it, Joe. Check out the old pooper. Well, Joe's gonna get the heater going soon. We have an oil heater in this cabin. Oh, that's tight. Uh, you know what, one of you sent me a homemade jar opener. And let me just tell you how much I love it. I use it at home all the time. It is the most awesome invention ever. And it would really mm, come in handy right now. Hey, Joe, you can do it, Tina. I can't open this. That's because you're a girl. It's because I'm a girl? Uh-huh. Yeah. You make it look so easy. <laughs> it is easy. I know what you were saying in your head. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really love, ooh, that's still really hot. I love when we make this ahead of time because when we first get out here, I'm exhausted and I don't feel like going through all the rigmarole of making coffee. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Let's go see what Parker's up to. P. Diddy! Are you already sledding? Yeah. Did you go fast? Yeah. Well, I'll go with you in a little bit, okay? You almost hit a tree. Did you go all the way down to the river? No. Oh, well we gotta pack the trail down a little bit better and then you'll go farther. Oh man, I the first thing I have to do is take my beanie off because I don't know, do, do you guys like beanies? I don't, I like them because they keep my head warm but they press my ears so much it hurts my ears. So like the first thing I do is take my beanie off. We made it, Joe. We had zero issues, it was an awesome trip. We did see a ton of moose tracks, but I didn't see any moose on the way out here. We have a trail cam that we put out this fall, and when Joe came out to get it to retrieve the pictures off of it, the trail cam was gone. And so I'm thinking what might have happened is something might have like messed with it, rubbed up on it. You know, it was on a tree and knocked it off the tree. 
So the hope is that it's on the ground right next to the tree, but it's obviously buried in like several feet of snow. But we're going to go up there in a little bit and see if we can dig around that tree. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find it. See you later. Do you get them? <laughs> it's like the biggest snow sledding hill ever. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let me take the shovel down there. All right, we are trekking our way up the hill to where we left our trail cam this summer and we're gonna see if we can find it. It'd be really cool if we found it because there's a ton of moose and bear scat along this trail. So we would probably get some stuff on there. It'd be pretty neat to see it. But the sun is starting to go down and as soon as the sun starts to go down, it starts getting colder. It's like 35 degrees in the cabin Joe got that oil heater going and it just warms up super fast. As much as I want a wood burning stove in there, that oil heater is awesome. Lots of animal tracks out here. I don't know what that is. It goes from one tree to the other, so it's probably a squirrel. Maybe a marten. I don't know. What is it, B? What say you? <laughs> Just making your own trails. Keeping a lookout, Gunner. You're always so serious. Yeah, I feel safe with you. You're always keeping an eye out, aren't you? Yeah. What's your brother doing? Oh gosh. <laughs> Hi, Bradley. What are you doing? Are you looking for an ice ball? Well, you gotta find it. Where is it? Where is it? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, you know something knocked that off the tree. Yes. Something big. Oh, I cannot wait to see what's on there. I'm so excited. Good job, babe. There's no bad guys. It's our stuff. Silly dogs. There's so much snow. You can like get to the roof. Like this, what is, you think it's like seven feet, Joe? It's gotta be right here. That's crazy. Massive hill. Bradley is convinced that that is a big snowball just for him.
Or ain't gonna live like this no more Most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace, I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no I'ma get on my feet, get on my chores, get some things from the hidden store. This old ship's coming back to shore, cause I ain't gonna live. Time for joy. Oh. Uh, what do you want to do tonight? You want to go ice fishing? Uh, Just putting it in a sled and taking it right down there, right? That'd be easy. Uh, Just take the chairs. Uh, Why do you grunt all the time? Do you know how to use words? Uh, Good morning. Here we are, second day at the cabin. The sunshine is ridiculous. It's a little chilly. It is 22 degrees, but you know, after all the negative temps we just came through, that feels like a heat wave. So it's just the perfect weather today. Again, I don't think we could have picked a better time to come to the cabin. And this is actually the same exact time last year that we came out in the winter time. March seems to be a great month to come out. So today, we are probably gonna go down to the creek and go fishing. We have a lot of luck usually in the summertime with pike out here, and we love pike. It's delicious whitefish. So we're gonna head down there with Joe and the auger, and we're gonna see if we can get lucky today and get some pike. But first, we're gonna make some breakfast. However, we are letting the eggs thaw out. <laughs> they froze on the way here out there in the ice chest overnight, so we gotta let them thaw a little bit. And it looks like we're gonna be having scrambled eggs because a lot of them did break on the ride out here, unfortunately. I just wanted to take a quick second to thank 
all of you for your comments on the video regarding Kellen leaving to go back home. Uh, we probably have the most comments on that video than any video on our channel. There's just a ton of comments. Last time I checked, it was almost 3,000, and that doesn't include the the direct emails that I got, the Facebook messages and comments, Instagram. I mean, the, the comments from you guys was just overwhelming and heartfelt, and uh, we thank you guys for that. So I did want to give you a little bit of an update. So many of you asked for an update on Kellen, and... So you know, the lines of communication with Kellen and his family are very open. We've talked to Kellen almost every day since he left. He calls us on FaceTime. We get to see him. He seems to be doing well. I know he misses us, um, but he seems to be doing well. It's definitely different being here at the cabin without him. Every trip we've had since we bought this remote cabin, Kellen was with us from the very first time we came out until, I mean, the summer trips, the fall trips on the boat. And it's very surreal being here without him. It's quiet. You know, Parker and Kellen, this cabin is built up on logs and they would have this whole cabin shaking the whole time, running up and down them stairs, playing with their cars, wrestling with each other. And it's just very quiet. I think that's the main thing that I'm noticing since Kellen left. Uh, Parker is quiet, kind of doing his own thing, coloring, sledding with the dogs. And normally he would have had Kellen to play with and he doesn't have that anymore. So that kind of makes me sad, but he's doing well. We're all doing well. Um, we miss him dearly. It took me a solid week before I could not cry every time I thought of Kellen. Um, the first family meal we had, where it was just the three of us, um, we prayed and I looked up and Kellen, of course, wasn't in his chair and that was really hard. I just broke down crying at the table. And a lot of you said it's like grieving the loss of a death in the family. And really, I know that sounds morbid and horrible, but that is honest to goodness what it felt like. That boy was a part of everything we did for a year and he was attached to my hip. It's just weird not having him there. It's, it's gonna still take some getting used to, but it did take me a solid week. And sometimes I still catch myself crying. <laughs> So we love Kellen and uh, yeah, we will just pray that he will never forget us and he will never forget the things that he learned while he was here. And we are still standing on the fact that we know God has a plan for Kellen and um, it's going to be a special plan. He's got some, some things lined up for Kellen. I truly believe that. And uh, yeah, we'll get breakfast going and then we're going to head down to the river and see what we can catch.
All right, Joe is digging a spot for us to drill down through the ice. We're right here, the cabin's right up there, so we're right off the cabin here in this creek. We have some pretty good pike fishing out here, so we'll see how it does in the winter time. It is extremely bright out here, especially with the reflection off of the snow, and uh, unfortunately, Joe accidentally ran over my sunglasses where we launched the snow machines before we headed out here. So brand new coach sunglasses, completely shattered. Straight up look like the kid from Christmas Story. Yeah, I was a little devastated. So I have zero sunglasses and it's extremely bright. So I'm just gonna have to sit with my, my back to the sun. There's the river. Oh, she so deep the ice. Huh? Yeah. About like 12 inches? More than that. Well, no luck fishing today. Such is life, right? Sometimes you get some, sometimes you don't. But it was, most of the time you don't, Joe said. But that's okay, it was still fun. We're gonna head up and get some hot coffee. It's definitely cold when you're just sitting out here on the ice, so we're all getting a little chilly. My toes are getting cold. So we're gonna head up and get something warm to drink. Did you make it up the hill? <laughs> That's a little bumpy, huh?
While the guys are outside, I am gonna prep some pastry dough. I'm gonna be making some delicious turnovers tomorrow for a treat. So I'm gonna prep it tonight so I don't have as much to do tomorrow. While I'm in here cooking, Joe is outside. He is trying to clear off the outhouse from all the snow. And then he has a project. So with the cabin when we bought it a old snow machine conveyed with the purchase of the cabin and joe has been meaning to get out there and try to look at it and get it started you guys know joe's a mechanic so he's usually pretty good at tinkering around and figuring things out so this snow machine is super old it definitely needs a new seat it's pretty tore up but uh, i think it's it's going to be a nice little snow machine if joe can get it working and we can fix it up a little bit Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about Good morning. We are heading out to check on one of the trail cams that Joe put up when we first got to the cabin. Might not be anything on it, but we were trying to see what those little tracks were, trying to see if they were squirrel or martin. So we're going to grab that camera, see if by chance there's anything on it. And then we did leave three tip-ups down on the river yesterday. So 
highly doubt there's anything on them. There was just no bites yesterday when we were fishing, but you never know. So we're gonna go check those tip ups and then just kind of explore around a little bit. It's beautiful. We did have a little bit of a snowstorm roll in this morning, but it's kind of let up and the sun is trying to peek out. Yeah, it's pretty packed down from when we snowshoed over it the other day, thankfully. There was a big trail. I don't know if you can see it because the snow's covered it now, but just tons of tracks going from this tree all the way over to this tree. You can kind of still see them. Oh, it's frozen in there. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Mm -hmm. Bummer. Can we start one at it? No. I'm down Nothing. What's behind door number three, Joe? Nothing. Show the people what they've won. <laughs> Nothing again. <laughs> Does it help to yell like that? Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Eating snow. Eating snow? No oh, good. Oh, Gotta make sure the dogs haven't been over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh my gosh, that's so dangerous. Oh gosh. <laughs> You, you, oh! Woo. He knows how to steer that thing using his hands.
I'm whipping up some blueberry orange turnovers for a tasty little afternoon treat. This has become one of our family favorites. You guys, this filling is delicious. It's cream cheese with orange zest, sugar, and some vanilla. And then we're using some of the blueberries that we picked this summer. They've melted a little bit in the ice chest, but you know, I'm just working with what I got. And you just fill up these little pastry squares and the trick is to not overfill them which I inevitably always do and then I'm just gonna brush them with a little bit of egg yolk here and we're gonna pinch them shut pop them in the oven and they're absolutely delightful I will make sure to link this recipe in my video description as always you guys give these a try they are so good and you can mix these up and put different fruit inside for your filling and get really creative with it you know do blueberry lemon but today we're doing blueberry orange and it is very tasty a really yummy treat after a cold day of sledding I'm just gonna whip up a simple icing to drizzle over the top of these turnovers and just simple like powdered sugar and some orange juice and if you need it to be a little bit more runny you can add more orange juice or a little bit of milk if you want but turnovers wouldn't be turnovers without frosting right and I like a lot of frosting amen I'll also be sure to link the recipe for the pastry dough because it is so buttery and so flaky it's really good and it's just better homemade versus the stuff that you buy in the store. Trust me, homemade is the way to go when it comes to pastry dough.
are you going? My afraid. To the porta potty? Yeah. Or to the outhouse? Outhouse. <laughs> Babe, where are you going? <laughs> are you the pooper escort? Yes, <laughs> you don't want Bigfoot to come out to the outhouse pee? <laughs> Are you proposing? It's your son. Yeah, well, it's 2024, Joe. We can do anything these days.